Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Pokey Gems. Another awesome easy illusion. Today we are making this wireframe cube illusion, guys, with a shadow. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a super cool trick to make awesome shadows. But guys, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button, smash it right now. That way you won't miss out on any future videos. All right, guys, as you see, I am using graph paper. I'm gonna make this super easy for you guys. Let's start out with a perfect square. I chose to do six cubes by six cubes. Guys, feel free to make yours bigger, smaller, whatever you want, but you are going to start out with a perfect cube, which basically means that all four sides are exactly the same. You can use pencil, you can use pen, you can use marker. I chose to use a blue marker because that way our dark shadows will pop off better. Now you're gonna make a second square coming off of this one. So you're gonna find the middle of your first one and start basically right in the middle and then again, count six squares out. So basically you're gonna have the same exact shape, same exact size, kind of halfway in the corner of the first one, just like I'm doing here. All right, once you're done with that, super easy. Your next step is basically going to be connecting the four corners just to give it that awesome 3D effect. So you're gonna collect, connect the left-hand corner, connect this corner, next you're gonna connect the top corner, and then of course, before we're done, we're going to connect the bottom right corner. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna think about is picture like a sun. Picture that there would be a sun in the upper left-hand corner dropping a shadow over your cube. And now logically think, if you drop the shadow, where would the shadows of the wires of the cube be? Obviously on this side. So what I like to think about is usually shadows are kind of a little bit smaller. So I think to myself, if I did it by six, I'm gonna make this one probably by four. So instead of coming down six cubes, I'll come down four cubes. So that's what I do, guys. And then all you're gonna do here with your pencil is you're going to mark those. So basically mark those edge lines of where you think your shadow should be. Next thing, once you're done marking those, I'm going to use, guys, a charcoal pencil. Now, if you notice, purposely, I am not using, guys, a ruler. Because if you look at shadows, now think about your shadow coming off of your body or anything else. Shadows are never perfectly straight. I mean, if you want to use a ruler, of course, feel free to. I usually, when I draw my shadows in this circumstance, you, drawing these cubes, drawing these optical illusions, I just do it freehand. I find, guys, that when you look at it, the shadows kind of look more natural. Next thing is picture that sun, again, coming down off of here. Picture that these are wires. Of course, each one of them is gonna drop a shadow on the same side. So what I'll do is I'll throw a little bit of a shadow on the outside of each one of these wires. Just a really, really light shadow on each one. Next thing you're gonna do is picture those, picture those wires that are in the back. They also need a little bit of a shadow. But what I'll do there is instead of drawing it all the way, I'll kind of start them off darker and then kind of lighten them out. That way it just gives it that effect that the cube is really in the back and it's dropping the shadow forward. Maybe I'll darken up these lines here a little bit. And guys, that's almost basically it. Now here is an awesome, awesome trick that I'm gonna show you guys. Usually you guys know that I use this chamois, but in this case, think about it. If you put your finger in that chamois, it's gonna make those shadows really wide. So this awesome trick I'm gonna show you guys is use a regular cotton swab, a nice clean cotton swab and just go over those shadows just really, really lightly. Feel free to take your time, go over them. Don't forget, guys, that the charcoal pencil erases very nicely. So if you go a little bit too far, a little bit too thick, go ahead and erase it. But you see how I'm turning my cotton swab using the different sides and then just going over it really lightly. And what that does is just gives it just a really, really slight, small smudge and really makes those shadows look natural and real instead of just a nice, uh, black line, it just kind of really smudges them into a nice little gray shadow. And like I said, guys, feel free to use your ruler, feel free to use your eraser, 
the charcoal pencil does erase very nicely guys that's basically it i think that turned out pretty cool couple simple materials guys please don't forget to follow me on tiktok instagram and facebook we post there every day also my website pokegems.com and like i said please hit that subscribe button smash that like give me some comments guys on this video and i will see you on the next one